things you should never tolerate in a relationship. Regardless of who you love or how you love them within a relationship, prioritizing respect is essential. Those deeply infatuated can overlook the need for boundaries, indicating a potential lack of control in their lives and relationships. Instances of physical, emotional, or mental distress in a relationship signal obstacles to personal growth, particularly if one's partner isn't supportive. Bearing this in mind, here are several behaviors you should never accept in a relationship. 1. Controlling behavior. Your partner may attempt to dictate your behavior and actions based on their perception of what's best for you. They might seek to influence you to conform to their desires and preferences. Additionally, they may insist on constantly monitoring your whereabouts and companions. 2. Gaslights you. Gaslighting refers to when one person endeavors to persuade another that their perceptions are untrue. In this context, your partner might endeavor to convince you that your actions or concerns are unfounded, dismissing your legitimate feelings as irrational or implausible. 3. Emotional or physical abuse. Absolutely not. If your partner subjects you to mental torment, emotional abuse, or physical violence, it's imperative to remove yourself from that situation immediately. They may belittle you, invalidate your feelings, and undermine your sense of worth. Physical harm should never be tolerated under any circumstances. 4. Self-esteem issues around your partner. Are you consistently plagued by self-doubt in your partner's presence? If so, it indicates a failure on their part to bolster your confidence and well-being. If your partner's words consistently leave you feeling miserable, it's a sign of insufficient respect in the relationship. Remember this. 5. Changes. You are unique, and your partner should embrace you just as you are. You shouldn't feel compelled to alter yourself to meet their standards, unless it's a change you genuinely desire for your own growth. It's a significant warning sign if your partner attempts to mold your personality or appearance to fit their preferences. 6. Isolates you. You shouldn't endure isolation from your friends and loved ones simply because your partner feels insecure or uneasy about you spending time with them. They may attempt to sow seeds of doubt that gradually drive you apart from others. Always bear in mind that you have your own life to nurture, and if your partner can't respect that, it's not a relationship worth maintaining. 5 People Share Why They No Longer Talk To Their Best Friend Maintaining friendships is crucial in life. Friends provide a space where you can discuss matters you might feel hesitant to share with your parents or family. Additionally, true friends will consistently support you and stand by your side. Nonetheless, there are instances where we find ourselves drifting apart from our closest companions. In the following, five individuals reveal the reasons behind their estrangement from their once best friends. 1. She was constantly jealous of me. During my time working in the city, far from my parents, my best friend was my only source of support. Despite her caring nature, she harbored jealousy towards me. Incapable of expressing it directly, she resorted to subtle methods. She would downplay my achievements and consistently undermine my worthiness. Eventually, the toxicity became unbearable, leading me to sever ties with her. 2. He promised to stay clean. While I was pursuing my MBA, I resided with my best friend. Unfortunately, he became involved in drug use due to personal issues and encountered numerous problems as a result. As his main support in the area, I consistently aided him. On one occasion, he found himself in significant trouble and pledged to abstain from drugs. Regrettably, he failed to uphold his promise, compelling me to distance myself from him as his actions began to impact me negatively. 3. She ghosted everyone. My best friend was constantly seeking new adventures and would always share her plans with me. However, one day, she orchestrated a radical change, leaving her husband, relocating to a different city, and severing all ties with me. We had spoken just the day before, yet she didn't mention anything about her intentions. This deeply wounded me, and when she attempted to reconnect about six months later, I chose not to respond. 4. He cheated on me with my girlfriend. We were childhood friends who shared many formative experiences together. Coincidentally, we both secured jobs in the same city and became roommates. It was during this period that I met my now ex-girlfriend. We were in a relationship for over a year, but unfortunately, it didn't last. The most devastating blow came after our breakup when I discovered that my best friend and my ex had been secretly dating. Unable to cope with the betrayal, I left our shared residence that very night. Since then, I haven't communicated with him at all. 
5. She used to treat me like her punching bag. I first encountered my best friend during my college years. We shared a living space and navigated our college experiences together. However, she had a habit of directing her anger toward me, whether it stemmed from conflicts with her boyfriend, disagreements with her parents, or frustrations over academic performance. At that time, I lacked the maturity to address the situation effectively. It wasn't until after I graduated that I recognized the toxicity of her behavior. To preserve my mental well-being, I made the difficult decision to sever all ties with her. Things nobody tells you about the way cheaters think. Nobody desires a deceitful individual in their life, that's for certain. Whether it's in relationships, the workplace, family dynamics, or any other aspect of life, cheaters are universally unwelcome. Nonetheless, encountering cheaters or falling victim to deception is an unavoidable reality. Therefore, it's fair to acknowledge that most of us have encountered instances of cheating in various forms throughout our lives. Moreover, understanding the mindset of a cheater is no simple task. To shed light on this, here are some insights into the thought processes of cheaters that are seldom discussed. 1. They might feed conflict. It's highly probable that a cheater may resort to infidelity as a means to sidestep confronting their partner about relationship issues. They recognize that there are underlying problems in the relationship but struggle to communicate them effectively. Consequently, they turn to cheating as a way to evade addressing these issues, viewing it as an escape route. 2. They may be looking for ways to avoid intimacy. When individuals sense that a relationship is progressing too rapidly or that the level of intimacy is fostering excessive attachment, they may turn to cheating. For them, infidelity serves as a method to create emotional distance between themselves and their partner. This pattern is prevalent among individuals who carry unresolved trauma from past relationships. 3. They might consider cheating to get even. When someone perceives that their partner has wronged them, they may contemplate cheating as a means of retaliation. For them, it's a strategy to address the situation without direct confrontation, yet it remains deeply hurtful. 4. They may like to experiment with non-monogamy. Certain individuals who engage in cheating may reject the idea of monogamy and opt to explore open relationships or polygamy instead. They resist any form of control from individuals or institutions and may cheat as a means of asserting their independence, demonstrating to themselves that they cannot be controlled by anyone. 5. They may be seeking a thrill. It's quite common for individuals to have a strong desire for new experiences, and for some, cheating serves as a means to fulfill that need. They find the act of cheating thrilling and exhilarating. 6. They could be narcissistic. Some individuals may engage in cheating due to narcissistic tendencies, seeking continual validation to feed their fragile ego. They yearn for additional affection and reassurance, often stemming from a sense of low self-worth. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.